Hey guys, as you may have seen from my last video, I'm here in the Kangaroo Valley on the south coast of New South Wales. Hopefully you enjoyed that last video, but I just wanted to make this one separately because there's one animal that's relatively common here that I think deserves its own standalone video. Currently, the tree stump that this camera is sitting on is hiding the home of one of these animals. So I'll just pick this up and turn it around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So that right there is a wombat burrow. So this video today is going to be all about wombats. There are quite a few wombat burrows in this area, but I've picked this one because it looks pretty good. So I'll tell you a bit about them and their burrows. It may look like the burrow just goes down a bit there, uh, and maybe a metre or two in, but wombat burrows can be up to 20 metres long and a few metres deep. Wombats are solitary territorial animals, so one wombat will dig one burrow, and unless it's destroyed somehow, it'll live there for its entire life. The only way you're going to find more than one wombat in a burrow is if it's a mother with her child. There has been some recent research during the 2019-2020 bushfires in Australia, that wombats will actually allow other animals to hide inside the heavily insulated burrows to survive bushfires. Uh, some animals like uh, wallabies were found uh, living with wombats inside burrows waiting for bushfires to pass. Now wombats are nocturnal creatures and they spend two thirds of their lives in burrows. So I reckon there's a very high chance that whoever lives here is home at the moment. I could go down and crawl in there. I'd probably fit and have a look and see if I can say hello but I'll explain to you later why that's a very bad idea. These burrows are also not just straight. They have many offshoots and little tunnels going different ways, but most of the time, they only have one entrance. All right, so I'll give you one last look of this burrow, and then we'll get on our way and try and find ourselves an actual wombat. As you can see, it's getting a bit late in the day. I did say earlier that wombats are nocturnal, but if it's a bit of a cooler day like it is today, some of them will try and come out a bit earlier and get a head start, like this one here. When I was talking about the burrows earlier, I mentioned that it would be a bad idea to go in looking for them. Uh, and the reason is because of that rump there. From this angle, you can see that the back of its body is very flat. And that's a really flat, hard, cartilaginous surface um, that they use as self-defense. So if a wombat's being chased by a dingo or a dog or something, it will run all the way back to its burrow and either use that rump as a kind of shielded door, a barrier to prevent the, the attacker from getting in, or if it wants to, it will allow the head of the dingo or the dog to get in between the rump and the roof of the uh, burrow and then it will push up and crush the head of its attacker. Like all marsupials, wombats have pouches. Uh, so when the baby is about 10 days old, it will move out of the womb and into the pouch, where it will spend at least 10 months suckling and growing bigger. When it moves out of the womb into the pouch, it's about the size of a jelly bean and it only weighs a few grams. The difference between wombats and other marsupials is that most other marsupials, like kangaroos and koalas, have upward facing pouches because that's much more practical. The baby won't fall out. But wombats burrow, and that means a lot of digging, and that means a lot of dirt. So wombats have backward facing pouches, which protects the babies from dirt when the mother is burrowing. This guy's happy to eat with us just a few meters away, so it's always a treat when they're this friendly. And so concludes the day's wombat hunting. Uh, wombats are one of my favorite animals, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative for you. Uh, if it was, please consider subscribing and click the like button. Uh, if you want to see my other video from the Kangaroo Valley area, the link will be in the description below. Unfortunately, as the sun sets, more wombats are going to start coming out, but I don't have a torch or a night vision camera, so they're going to have to be doing their thing unrecorded. But that's okay with me, I think we've got enough wombat content for the day.